in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to turn a trampoline into a house in Boxburg. So if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I turn different things into houses. And one of you guys asked me if I could transform a trampoline into a house. So this idea was inspired by... <sighs> Why do you guys have the most difficult usernames? This idea was inspired by a user sigjigid 7 lee e free User sigjigid did So thank you to that person. And if you guys want your video ideas featured in a video, all you have to do is comment them below. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so in the Bloxburg category, there's two options of trampolines. There's this trampoline, and then there's the net trampoline. But I feel like if we're going to be making it into a house, this trampoline would definitely be easier. Or maybe this one would. Actually, I don't know. I am confuzzled. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let you guys pick which trampoline should i turn into a house okay i said which trampoline should i turn into a house we've got option one or option two let's see who votes oh one person voted for the right trampoline everyone's voting for the right trampoline wow someone said left to make her suffer oh okay guys this is getting intense we have 23 votes for number two and so far we've only got 13 votes for number one well i guess of 29 votes trampoline two takes the win so goodbye trampoline one okay so i guess this is the trampoline we're going to be transforming into a house i have no idea how we're gonna do this. Wait, do I even add walls? Because technically this is already walls. Like it's kind of a net. Okay, if I wanted to add walls, I could use a basic shape. Please tell me I can put things on this. No, I can't. I, I can't place things on top of this trampoline. Oh, that's that's very annoying. Well, I guess we can use like a vertical cylinder like, at the bottom of the trampoline. We can place this on top like this. And that way we can place furniture items on top of the trampoline. Maybe, let's see if this works. Can we place a bed? Oh, we can, beautiful. Oh my, guys, the bed takes up the entire trampoline. How on earth am I gonna make this into a house? Okay, I think we're gonna go with like a blush trampoline house. I don't know why I'm getting blush vibes. Oh, oh, oh my god, I almost died. I think the first thing we need is like a few stairs to get up into the trampoline. You know what? Now that I think of it, I'm actually like living out my childhood fantasy. I always wanted to live in a trampoline. Like, did you ever go to your friends or your cousins and they had a really nice trampoline and you just never wanted to get off? That's what I feel like I'm making right now, like a dream trampoline. Okay, we've got the stairway. That way we don't have to jump into our house. We can just climb up these beautiful luscious marble stairs. I guess the next thing we can do is actually paint the trampoline. So I don't know if I want to have like a blush house or a modern. You know what? I guess we can do a bit of both. Okay. Another thing I really want to do is add fairy lights above the top of the trampoline. Cause you know, those photos where they have like lights on the top of the trampoline and like they would sleep out there and it'd be nice and cozy. That is exactly what I'm doing. I actually done this before when I was little, me and my friends, we slept on a trampoline and um, it was nice and cozy. We had the blankets, we had our laptops to watch Netflix. And at like three o'clock in the morning, it started raining. It was really fun. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Like low key. If I turn this to nighttime, Oh, <gasps> she kind of cute or whatever. So I think for the walls, we're just going to use basic shapes. So for the walls, we're just going to use cubes like this, but we also need some windows. So I might place like two cubes and then lift one up like this. And that way we have our little window out here. Oh, and look at that. I can just copy it. Guys, you know what I just realized? Where am I going to put the bathroom? <laughs> uh, didn't think about that. Okay, well, considering this is a house, we need a welcome mat. Welcome to my humble abode. We have to make this very small. It's going to be a very, very small, incy wincy welcome mat because you can't have it take up too much room. Because if you aware we're kind of lacking in the room department now to make this a house we need to like divide the rooms up so i reckon i'm gonna put the basic shape right here and then this little section can be the bathroom and the toilet imagine you go on blocksburg to role play and someone's like abc for blocksburg mom and you go to her house and this is her house <laughs> okay i like this little compartment for the bathroom i don't know how on earth i'm gonna make it work so like first we need a shower i might put the shower like here and have a nice gold shower because we're fancy like that as for the toilet Wait, where enough am I gonna put the toilet? Oh, in the sink? Oh, did not think about this, did I? Guys, this is very, very difficult and I'm struggling. Okay, wait, no, we can make this work, okay? Toilet, we can fit right there. We can have a nice view, you know? When you're taking a poo, you got a view. Wow, call me Dr. Seuss with that rhyme. We also need a door, but like we can't really add a door in here. Actually, can we place walls? Oh, I mean, well, technically we can place walls, but they won't measure up properly. So we're just using basic shapes because we're basic. If you told 10 year old me that she would be building a trampoline house in Bloxburg, she probably would not believe you. Okay, we also need a sink in our bathroom. I think the sink that takes up the less amount of room is this one. Wait, is it? Or oh, there's this one. Yeah, it's definitely this one. So goodbye. I guess we can fit the sink like on the corner here. Wow, talk about a beautiful bathroom, guys. We really got everything we need in here. The last thing we need is storage. Um, <laughs> Where on earth am I gonna put the storage? I guess like for the towels, we can place a hook rack up here. That way we can place some towels up the top. And on this basic shape, we can have some hand towels. And we also need a mirror. Actually, 
actually, instead of a big mirror, I think I'm just gonna use this little like princess table mirror. I mean, she kind of cute. We can have some pink towels for our little blush house. Uh, low key, what even is a blush house? Oh my gosh. Okay, a lot of pink. Yeah, a lot of pink. I just realized when we have a shower, all the water is gonna like flood the entire trampoline. It's like a mat of some sort. There we go, perfect. And we also need room for our soap and shampoo. I'm pretty sure there's like corner shelves I can add. Okay, there's this zigzag corner shelf. I can put that like right here. Oh wait, that kind of fits perfectly. Okay. Okay, so in that case, we can fill up this storage unit with all of our soap. I just watched the Barbie movie the other day with my friend and I am currently obsessed with the color pink and I low-key want a shirt that says I am Ken enough. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm just kidding. Oh, Loki, okay, why is this house turning out better than the tent house? I could barely add anything inside of that tent house. It was so small. I'm surprised I even made it work, to be honest. Ooh, we've got our body wash, our shampoo, our toothpaste. Mm-mm-mm. Luxburg needs to change the animation for brushing your teeth. Because when I brush my teeth, it looks like I'm scratching my eyeballs out. Okay, I think that's everything we need for our bathroom. One more thing we need, though, is a little bit more privacy. So as you can see, we currently have, like, zero privacy. So, yeah. Oh, my cat is so annoying. I don't know if you you guys have cats but every five seconds they will meow to come in my room i will let them in my room and then they will meow again for me to let them back out it's like what do you want from me i think that's it for our bathroom we can have a little arch here make it nice and fancy okay and now for the rest of the house i think the first thing i want to work on is the kitchen i could be super lazy and just put a little junior play chef kitchen but you know what we're not going to be lazy okay we're going to actually make this a proper functional kitchen how that's a really good question i actually do not know the reason I'm using this shaker counter with the opening in the middle is so I can fit a microwave inside. And instead of a regular size fridge, we're just going to use a mini fridge because let's be honest, can't really place a fridge in here. I mean, I could, but there is absolutely no room. You're probably like, Alaska, put a fridge in here. I could, but it would take up a lot of room. And keep in mind, we still have to add our bedroom and our living room. However, I am going to be smart about this. So, and we're not actually going to use an oven today. So we're just going to place the fridge up here like this. And then we can have our cutting board and everything on the top. You guys are so obsessed of the way I had like my little peanut butter and jelly on the cutting board. I didn't add it one time and everyone was like, Alaska, you forgot it, you fool. Another thing I'm thinking about is what am I going to use for lighting? I guess we're just going to have to use lamps. Oh, I did say we're going with a blush interior, so we are going to have to use a little bit of pink. <laughs> Can you believe we're doing like a blush interior on this channel? Like me doing a blush interior. Like what's going on? The world has fumbled into chaos. And I want to see if I can add a cabinet on this wall. If I could, that would be very helpful. Oh, I mean, technically I kind of can. Unless I put it up against this wall. Oh, wait, that looks better. I think we're going to put the cabinet on that wall, which means the fridge will have to go over here. Which actually works out better because then we can place more kitchen supplies on the counter. For example, a coffee maker, a toaster, these utensils, and maybe a fruit bowl as well. Okay, so far so good. Because we have a lot of empty space here, we're going to place a kitchen organizer. Nothing screams blush house like pink pants. And then finally, an island bench. You're probably like, Alaska, why are you adding an island bench in the smallest kitchen known to men? Because I'm fancy. I'm a fancy girl. That's not going to be any regular island bench. We're literally just going to place a cube and then use the transform tool to lift it up. And two more cubes underneath it to give it some stability. That way it acts as an island bench, a dining table, a breakfast nook, three in one. So yeah, it actually works out perfectly. I feel like we'd be reading our like morning news paper on the dining table so we can have that as well. I remember when I was turning a tent into a house in Bloxburg, I was like, oh, I wish Bloxburg had newspaper. Everyone in my comments was like, Alaska, you idiot. Bloxburg does have newspaper. I want this chair to take up the least amount of room as possible. We're going to push it right into the table. Actually, speaking of taking up the least amount of room, we might move this table up against this wall and that way we have more room on the left here. Okay, so we've got our kitchen. Now we need our bedroom and our living room. How am I going to add it in this little section here? I have no idea. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, but I really want to have a bunk bed moment. Bombastic side eye. That way, if this does work, I can place the bed up here so it takes up like the least amount of room. But for this to work, I'm gonna have to use a sleeping bag. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, guys. Never mind. Well, that's a bit awkward. Where on earth am I gonna place my bed? There is absolutely no room unless I use a lounge as my bed. I can always do that. We can just sleep on the lounge. Who even needs a bed? Not me. Maybe if we use reclining leather lounges. This way it acts as our lounge room, but if we wanna recline the lounge out, we can. And to make it nice and cozy, like our bed, we can just place a bunch of 
of pillows. Make it as comfy as possible. Simio, you can't sit on my laptop. Like, what are you doing? Bro, my cat, every single time I film, she just sleeps on my laptop. Like, what are you doing? Go, we've got our nice cozy bed slash lounge. Now, in this section here, Simio, you cannot sleep on my laptop. Now, we have a little bit of empty room here. I really want to add a fireplace. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, though. All right, that just looks a little bit silly, doesn't it? Ah, uh, never mind. No fireplace. Because we have such limited room in this section, instead of a big chunky TV, we're going to place a <laughs> big chunky ladder shelf because this way we can place more things on this shelf instead of just a TV. Actually, can we place a TV on here? Oh, I mean, we can, but like not, it doesn't really make sense considering the TV is inside of the ladder. But you know, it's Bloxburg. We don't really question things. Oh, you know what? We could use a laptop as a TV. We just place it on the lounge like this. Before I had a TV in my bedroom, I would literally always just watch Netflix on my laptop and it was the best. So I'm glad I added a ladder shelf here because this way we can place more things. I feel like I don't have many photo frames in my houses. So you know what? We'll have a few here. We'll type up Alaska Violet and we'll see what comes up. I keep forgetting we need light in here because it's going to be like so dark. Oh my gosh, do you guys want to know the cutest story? So me and my friends were playing Doors the other day and I actually ran into one of you guys and she told me how she didn't have Bloxburg and she told me how she watches my videos and she's like a really big fan but she can't play Bloxburg because she's never had Robux before. So I'm like, girl, are you on my group? And she told me that she is on my group. So, so I gave her a thousand Robux so she could buy Bloxburg and a few of the game passes. So yeah, I hope she's doing well. Okay, I think the shelf's done, which means the entire trampoline house is finished. However, we still need to add a roof. Now, the only way for me to add a roof is to make it out of, of course, a basic shape and just place it on the top like this, like a little icing on the cake. Oh my gosh, it is so light in here. I'm going insane. I'm also going to add a bunch more trees out here just to make it more cozy. Okay, first we have to change the decals. Let's see what you guys have added so far. Alaska Violet. Oh, this is cool. Damn, y'all are artists or whatever. And I guess we can add this one. This is by the beach. Okay, the trampoline house is done. Bloxburg needs to stop making my face look like that. I look insane. And comes to a total of $52,000. Okay, so here is how the outside turned out. You know what? It's kind of cute. Instead of jumping our way in, I added a little staircase here. A very spacious living room slash bedroom because we didn't have room to add a bed. I think this is actually pretty cool. So we can sit here and go on our computer. And if we also want to have like a little nap at the end of the day we can sit on the lounge and recline um this doesn't really make okay what is happening we also have a fairly big storage unit here and then we've got our kitchen oh my god this is so bright i can't believe i just done a blush house can you believe that anyway we've got our kitchen here we've got literally everything we need in this kitchen like we've got a microwave a fridge our little island bench the breakfast bar actually turned out so cute i love it i think the kitchen was pretty scrumptious one thing i'm not looking forward to though the bathroom okay so coming in here oh a little bit of a tight squeeze but it's all right okay we've got our sink in this corner what about the toilet can we even use this toilet oh my gosh okay surprisingly we can actually use the toilet it's just a very very tight squeeze the only problem with the shower in this trampoline house is that you kind of have to jump over the toilet to get to the shower but besides that it's great like, look at that we can use the shower we've got all of our supplies but the final test is what would happen if i took this to a public server and asked people to role play inside of it so let's have a look okay here we are on a public server and here's my little trampoline house so um i guess i have to say abc for rich blocksburg mum <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Actually, I'm just gonna throw a party. Please, I'm a rich Bloxburg mom. I have a big mansion. Trust me. Oh, we have- I am now your mother. I am now your rich Bloxburg mom, okay? Hi, I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god. The one time I invite someone on, they know who I am. Biggest fan? What do you mean? I don't- I don't make Bloxburg videos. Anyway, it comes to my big mansion. This is our home. We've got, um, everything we need. <laughs> She's not saying anything. We've got a plasma TV. A hundred million dollar bed. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was hundred billion dollars. By the way, are you filming right now? Oh my god! How does she know who I am? No, don't run away from your daughter. This is our new home. Look, we've got everything we need. We've got our really big spacious bathroom. We've got our kitchen. We've got everything. Listen, you don't want to run away, okay? Are you filming? No. <laughs> okay, I can't anymore. She is so sweet. I love her. You know what? I'm just going to donate her 50k because she deserves it. 50k to eyelashes. You're my idol. Oh, stop. Anyway, guys, that was me turning a trampoline into a house in Bloxburg. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you want me to turn another thing into a house in Bloxburg, definitely comment it below and I'll check it out and I will see you in the next one. Bye!